good morning, girls. It's Thursday and not morning. I was very saddened to hear about your dog, Adrian. Um, I hope you're managing. I'm not very good at condolences, but I really am. I. Yeah. I'm sorry, I felt saddened when I heard about it. On the other hand, I think you and Johanna might be mind readers because you actually managed to pick everything I was going to say this week. So at first I was going to have the topic of us teaching each other something, like I would maybe teach you about the things I learned. But then you said that we would have 10 facts and I was like, really? <laughs> And then Johanna chose the topic I was going to choose because she did a video earlier this week. So I spent pretty much the entirety of yesterday trying to figure out what I was going to talk about today. So the f my topic for these 10 facts about something is going to be 10 facts about Shakespeare. The first thing you may or may not know about Shakespeare was that he actually never went to university. He just sort of, I don't even know what you did when you didn't go to university, but he didn't go to university. Fact number two, he's still, and he was and still is, one of the most quoted authors in English language. I think only the authors who wrote the Bible have been more qu quoted more often than Shakespeare. This is the third fact. He has, uh, when you Google him, he has 157 million pages. That's about him on Google. And if you search for the word God, you get like 132 million. So he actually gets more hits than God. Uh, another thing you may or may not know about him was that he actually invented many words that we use today in the English language like literally thousands of words like for instance he invented the word assassination which is very good i would imagine that the assassin's creed games would be pretty different if the word assassination didn't exist and he also invented the word bubble and uh, butterfly which i don't really know but i've heard was called flutter by at first because it fluttered and it flew by, so it fluttered by and then someone changed around the letter so it was butterfly, but that might just be like hearsay. Uh, he also invented the word road, which is another thing that, you know, we kind of use a lot. Another thing you, uh, another thing about Shakespeare was that he signed some of his works and we have actually found some of the actual, like, original word works. But when you look at his signature, it doesn't look like he spelt it the way usually the way you usually spell Shakespeare. Like sometimes he spelt it shakes Shakespeare, and sometimes he spelt it Shakespeare, and sometimes he spelt it Shakespeare, and sometimes he spelt it Shakespeare with not with an e on the end. So it's it's been up to discussion what he actually was, um, how he actually spelt his name. Another thing was that he actually was an actor, that was his like profession, so when he wrote the plays he also acted them out sometimes, because, you know, he didn't really always have that many actors around, which I thought was pretty cool. The final thing, I think, I haven't really counted these, so I hope it's about ten, but the final thing about him was that he sort of led a double life, he didn't really... Um, have his family, I think, didn't really know about him, and uh, the, the village that he lived in, he just went into, like, London, and then he wrote a lot, and then he came back and was like, hey, I'm back, and the town only knew him as a nice person, and uh, I think he had a shop or something, so he was, like, known as a very good entrepreneur. Anyway, I think that's about it. I'm, see, I'm running out of time, so uh, I'll see you later this week, maybe, Adrian? Oh wait, wait, Johanna, you did a video this Monday, so I'm a little bit confused about our schedule, but anyway, I'll see you when I see you, so to speak. I hope you have a good Easter, and uh, you don't forget to be awesome. Goodbye.